How many days have we been in self-isolation? Oh my god, it's day 38! <laughs> but in this episode, we're taking you right back to the beginning of our self-isolation here in Istanbul. Hindsight is a beautiful thing. But I think it's an appropriate time maybe to play the intro. The words! Yeah. We haven't played the intro for a while. Let's bring on that intro! We're still in Istanbul. We've been here for about 10 days now and uh, it's day three where we self-isolated um, in a, the uh, parking lot where we're staying. And it's been really good. You can see there isn't actually hardly anybody else here. There's one other um, couple uh, from South Africa and there's the motorhome of a Turkish guy who I think helps work here. Um, but it is um, a bit of a strange situation. They've um, now closed the campsite um, so that they're not letting in anybody new. Um, so yeah, so this is gonna be home until the situation gets a little bit better. Yeah, they've actually told everyone to self-isolate. Not everyone does it because some people don't understand the, the thing about breaking the cycle and the chain. Um, but it's funny because there's been loads of people in the flats um, <laughs> opposite us that are all waving going, where are you from? Um, so yeah, it's been a really friendly response. But we feel very lucky to be where we are. So we're gonna give you a quick guided tour of where we're staying. So we are staying in a secure parking area here in Old Town, Istanbul. And every day, all the neighbors have been waving down to us and uh, shouting good morning and hello. So it's super friendly here. The parking area here is actually closed, but they've allowed two of us to carry on staying here for the duration of this uh, pandemic. So this is what we have access to. Washing line. Fresh water. Fresh mint. We got the power. Friendly neighbors. Bay leaf. Black water empty. Football pitch. Grey water empty. Hot showers. Waste disposal. Toilets. Washing machine. So we feel very lucky to have everything we need. Uh, we were geared up to be living in our van to drive around the world anyway. So for us, it feels like we're just home. How does this situation affect our future plans? Well, nobody actually knows how long the situation will go on for. We figured that if we can get into Russia by sort of June or July, we'll still have enough time to get to the far end of Russia before the weather changes. So watch this space. We are going around the world. I think it's just a question of when. <laughs> so stay home, wash your hands and support the NHS. Yeah, we wanna give a huge shout out to all the healthcare workers around the world. You're doing a fab job yeah. and uh, we'll all be back on the road and enjoying our beautiful travels before you know it. I never ever thought I'd be a resident of Istanbul. There you go. We might be we might be here for a while. Howdy neighbor. <laughs> so the uh, the gate is closed here and the barriers are up so they're not accepting any more people into the campsite here. Is the boss man? Hey boss man. <laughs> Deshkur. They've really been looking after us. Yeah, they brought us um, some gloves, some hand gel, some <laughs> wipes down, and they've been really, really nice and given us phone numbers in case we're in trouble. Um, and oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and they've said we can stay here till the corona finishes, which is really nice because some of you guys have been sending us messages saying that you're in places that are closing down and kicking out. So. Um, 
as we've said to them contact the British Embassy and ask for advice or put it out on there and then or contact us and we'll do some research because we have Wi-Fi so we can maybe help. The football pitch, pitch that you can see here normally is full of lots of young lads having little football uh, competitions but today is the uh, first day where it's actually closed completely and uh, then we've got the building here where there's toilets and uh, showers and things. What I would like to add is that we're actually in um, Istanbul city. We're actually right next to a four lane motorway. There's Can't nothing, hear it. I literally can see one bus and one car going past right now. So things are definitely moving quite quickly here. So this is the uh, little building next to where we are. And My there's, place. Ta -da, there's a washing machine uh, which is free to use. So we've been using that and then hanging it out. There isn't a dryer, but we've been using it. And there is actually some cooking facilities here, but we've got cooking in the van, so that's great. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so nice. It's nice. nice. It's a good place to be stuck. It's not pretty, but it's practical. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so our Instagram pictures aren't going to be full of beaches and mountain shots and beautiful places, but it's very practical. And within five minute walk, we've got a pharmacy, we've got bakeries, we've got uh, restaurants, we've got, well, they've closed now, but they've got little shops as well, so we can buy supplies. So it's not pretty, but it's practical, is what we have to keep saying to each other. Yeah, exactly. Because we would rather be on the beach. Exactly. Maybe we'll be on the football pitch, love. What yeah. do you think? <laughs> okay, so it's day four in lockdown and Marianne is trying to rearrange the cupboards. Yeah, we're not really going out and using our clothes a lot, so I've actually... <laughs> She's moved most of her clothes. Well, because we're trying to work out how much clothes, how many clothes we've got, and, and obviously Chris being six foot three man, is like going bang 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 sure. so i thought it would actually be much more practical if, if we i put the food higher put up all the food higher up so chris can see it so all my clothes i've actually um stored under the bed yeah i put under the bed apart from that these are the these are only actually the clothes that i really need so i've now got a bag of clothes and i'm just going to put all the food in a much more logical place there you go. So it's easier for Chris to see. Ta-da! Ta-da! Lockdown reorganisation. Yeah. Yeah. All good. All good. Actually, I just wanted to say, chin up campers. It's all going to be okay. Self-isolate. That's all you need to do. And we're actually going to start doing some daily challenges, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Maria, we're time just seems to go it's like it's nearly 11 o'clock we haven't really done anything we've got up we've had a coffee we had an interview with radio shropshire because they want to see how we're getting on marianne's just fallen on my lap and trod on my foot sorry ow <laughs> and um yeah so slowly going stir crazy so we're, we're thinking we're, we're coming up with some ideas of stuff that we can do to keep ourselves and you entertained during Lockdown. Lockdown. Lockdown in Istanbul. Yeah, in fact, we're going to probably do some live chats. There's your coffee, my love. Starting the live chats again on YouTube. We haven't done them for ages. Uh, and we just thought we'd do that because that might keep you entertained. Uh, maybe a and a Yes. Maybe some yard exercises. Yes. And if you're wondering, if one of the questions is, what are all these? Oh, yeah. The uh, gentleman who owns this site he dropped off some um, wet wipes, some antiseptic wet wipes. Clearly, he's worried about us because we have hundreds of them. <laughs> and we're not a fan of wet wipes because they actually incorporate plastic and we try and cut down our yeah, plastic. But, we're, but also, you can't really be rude no. and say no and the, with the language, but we're going to use them. They seem to work really well on cleaning like your phones and your yeah. laptop keyboard and, and things like that. And obviously with the phone, we've been passing the phone around because with Google Translate. Translate so. Um, and also we've been given some gloves as well, haven't we? He gave us gloves. So yeah, so we'll try and get s some cr creative ideas going. Yeah, we've already started skipping, step aerobics, 
uh, watching when, Netflix. When you say starting, we did it for like five minutes. That was a good start. <laughs> that was actually a really good start for me. Yeah, Netflix, having Netflix is a lifesaver yeah. and having access to the internet at the yeah, moment. Yeah, being is able amazing. to chat to everyone. It's going to be a really tricky time because nobody actually knows what you're supposed to do. Nobody's making a big decision. We're self isolating because yeah, our and we background... don't know. We don't know what's going to happen in a week, a month. Yeah. Here, we just go. You just got to go with it. Got to go with it. Keep your sense of humour. Hashtag yeah. don't ever lose your sense of humour. Although people have said that baby booming and divorce lawyers is the way forward after this. We ain't making no babies. And we ain't getting divorced. No. I don't want either of those options, thank you very much. Um, but yeah, we're self-isolating because our background is hospitals and we understand the pressure they're under and we don't want to be part of the problem. Yeah. So we're entertaining ourselves and chatting to everybody and... Chatting to everybody online. Online, yeah, because yeah. now, socially, um, you're not isolated. On don't you remember those days when there was only like the corner video shop yeah. And you rented a VHS video, yeah. and you had to watch it over and over again to get, to get your money's worth before you had to hand it back for the next weekend. And there was a label that used to say, "Be kind, please rewind." Exactly. And now we've got Netflix and hundreds of movies yeah. and TV series series. And so we're then, we're not bored no. at all. And also because you can actually WhatsApp, video call, Skype. Uh, you know, we're not sponsored by any of these, but they are you. They are lifelines. If you need company, okay, you haven't got that physical hug, but you have the ability to just yeah. like stay in touch and laugh with people, which is really nice. Isn't exactly, it? and everyone's doing like crazy, silly things online, which is which is keeping us entertained. Anyway, we're gonna go back. I've got a video to make. Marianne's gonna go and get water for the van, and we're just gonna chill and have a little chat about the plan for uh, our channel to keep you and us entertained. There is a plan? Not yet, but there will be. <laughs> <laughs> Amazingly, the hose actually reaches to the van so we haven't got to move it. So we're just filling up because we're completely empty of water. It's the highlight of our day. <laughs> so it's day five of self-isolation here in Istanbul. And you can really see the roads, I mean, that is the main motorway road, the main ring road that we uh, were in when we arrived in Istanbul. And uh, it's definitely, definitely much quieter. People are starting to listen here about the uh, self-isolation, uh, which is a good thing. And uh, we're just carrying on our time here in the, uh, in the car park of this little uh, football, football pitch that you can see behind me. We're good, we're good. We, we, we're a bit tired today. We stayed up late last night um, because Boris Johnson, the UK Prime Minister, did an announcement to everybody. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just wanted to hear that because obviously we've got family and friends um, back home. And uh, the, foreign of the UK Foreign Office has warned all of us um, or suggested that all travelers unless you live overseas uh, should return to the uk dominic raab the foreign secretary is saying that all british travelers abroad who are usually based in the uk are advised advised uh, to return now and uh, well, technically they've told you to come home yeah and we've we've had lots of discussions about this mm. and um we feel like one, we are in our home. Yeah. If we go back to the UK. Home. Um, and manage to get a flight. Yeah. And find secure parking for Trudy. Yeah. Then we don't actually have anywhere to go when we get home. Yeah. Uh, we've got, you know, parents, mm -hmm. elderly parents that we could go and stay with, but that would be irresponsible. I'm not sure you're allowed to call them old. Or elderly. I think they're over that age. They're of over isolation. seventy. <laughs> they're old. Sorry. <laughs> You're in so much trouble. I'm in trouble. so much trouble from that one. Um, and we do have we do have um, other family members mm -hmm. and friends. But then, you know, we don't really want to travel, sit on an aeroplane, sit on buses, sit on trains if they're yeah. running yeah. to get to their house 
to possibly give them the coronavirus. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. The whole the whole message has been self isolation, and if people aren't doing that for those three weeks, governments are then having to enforce the rules, um, which is actually forcing older people and vulnerable people to be isolated for months. So we're very much team self isolation, and um, yeah, we... I can't really see the I can't see the benefit of going home other than no. okay, you've got familiar a familiar country. Mm. Um, you know, they've got, you know, the NHS is going to be stretched mm -hmm. as will be the, the, the medical services here in Turkey, although it's, we're behind yeah. the UK spread, um, at the moment it's yeah. in the early days here. I think as well, I've received lots of messages, uh, lots of emails saying, um, from van people saying that the campsites closed, um, or the shops run out of food. Mm. They're being told they have to leave. And I think subject to where you are and the situation you're in, it is very individual. If you have a home back home, like a bricks and mortar house. If we were backpacking, I'd be home. Yeah, if exactly. I was going to say that actually. If we were currently on an adventure, because that's what like we decided in Central to America. do. Either yeah. van or backpack our way around the world. Now, if we were with a backpack with yeah, everything in it, we'd be on a plane. There would be absolutely no discussion. But then Trudy would be at home to go too. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. On my sister Sue's drive uh, with everything that we needed. Um, but if we do go back to our family, um, as Chris said, we wouldn't have a home and we would be putting all of our family, including those that work for the NHS, yeah, at risk. At risk in their homes or our friends or our friends and we've had messages from our friends offering to go and, and pick up stuff for our parents or if we I think need if, the, anything. if the borders were open behind us and we could drive yes. home yeah we would say look it's probably yeah. best just to go home or let head, this, in, head in that direction or, yeah, and, yeah and 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 let it tide over but yeah. then but then we're traveling we're moving, mm -hmm. we're stopping in petrol stations, yeah. we could then be spreading the virus yeah. as well. So being part of the problem. We think it's the best for everybody to stay mm -hmm. where we are. And we're, we're, we're still in a, a fortunate position oh, that, yeah. you know, this, this parking area um, of the sports hall that we're staying in is mm -hmm. actually closed. Yes. But they're letting us and one other vehicle stay because mm -hmm. we've already been here for, you know, 10 days. Yeah. And that's what I meant by if your site is closing down. We've had a very frank, a uh, very open discussion with the owner here and said, look, this is what we would like to do. Self-isolate. We'll stay here. We'll stay here. You can lock us in. or um, But if you're planning on throwing us out in a couple of months' time when let it us, all goes bad. Let us know. Let because us know. We'll drive somewhere where you know we, we can, can hide or we can hide away hide away you know we've got we're, we're able to drink water we've got solar panels i have a fishing rod i can go by the sea somewhere quiet and catch fish yeah and we we could survive um but we don't want to move mm. around and be part of the problem yeah and um yeah, we I think we're in we're in pretty good spirits considering, you know, well, we Well, we're in such a good place. We've managed to tap into a local internet. We have water. We yeah, have electric. electricity. We have showers. Yeah. The only the only thing that's limited is the the van's heating. We're very yeah. lucky to have a planner heater that they sponsored us when we left and it yeah. works amazingly yeah and we also have lpg yeah but we can't get the vehicle out to go and refill yeah so, so we're, we're being yeah. proper careful aren't we trying yeah. not to use it we're going back to when our parents used to say just put another pair of socks on which is why i've got two tops on and a hoodie <laughs> and a hoodie top because it is actually quite cold yeah. today put a jumper on <laughs> yeah because um, although we're in turkey a holiday destination for many yeah right Istanbul, now hot it's, drinks Hot drinks, it's about 13 degrees, it's cloudy, it's grey, you may be able yeah. to see it's rainy and wet. We're only going to go out for food. Yeah. And at the moment we have plenty of food on board, we are well stocked up, um, we can probably cope for a couple of weeks. I'm not going to lie, longer. I have said to Chris, if they do... Um, if if there could... was a beer delivery, I would definitely take a case of beer to keep us sane at the moment. I was thinking more if we could access a couple of chickens, maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah, chickens. I, I thought... Chickens, beer and Haribo. And, and I said... That sounds like a wild party. And I said some lettuce, <laughs> some seeds, we could grow some lettuce. And then we've got egg salad. 
is what I said. Yeah, but but if we're still here by the time the, the vegetables grow, we've definitely been here too long and my beard will be down to my knees. Yeah, that's coming off. I need to um, shave soon, but, but it's raining today. But so I we're... want to say thank you for all the concerned people, um, but we really do need to reassure you that yeah. we've talked it through with the family, we've talked it through together. Yeah, um, we're all good. We, we are financially, as we said, the, the travels that we do are funded by the rental of our house and our, our and the people the moment, renting our house are awesome that. and they are still in employment, thank goodness. Um, and we're okay. We, the place here we, we've got, it costs us £300 a month, was it? £300 yeah, it's pounds about a month. £10. It's actually probably a little bit more now because the, the pound's dropping in value. It's probably about £12 a night. Yeah, every, so, so, yeah, but so it's, it's, it's about it's 300 so that's absolutely doable. Chris does a financial blog um, yeah, on our Yeah, we're not spending website. money on fuel. There's no fuel out there. It's just food and, and rent. We're not doing anything else. There's no yeah. border crossings. There's no... We're okay. Um, we're still okay visa-wise. We're still okay insurance-wise. Yeah. Obviously, in a couple of months' time, we're going to have to start reassessing all of that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'd very much just go with it. So yeah. day five in lockdown. Um, Self-isolation. Yeah, actually, yeah, we're not locked down. Nobody's not stocking lockdown. us going out. Yeah, so we're being good today. Yeah. We're not going. We're, well, we've been good every day, but we're not. We're not going out today because it's raining. So we're not yeah. even going to do our prison yard walk today. Um, so yeah, uh, I would imagine by day 10, day 20, day 30, day 60, yeah. we may, these videos may be getting slightly more crazy. Yeah. So wherever you are, you know, stay safe. Yeah, Keep message us, email. If message you, us. Yeah, if and you need contact we'll and you're feeling isolated. We'll do a little daily update. But today is day five of self-isolation. Laters. Chin chin. Hi everybody. Uh, no, that sounds terrible. <laughs> oh, oh, oh God. Chaos, carnage. You're waving your hose a bit. My eye treacle. 